Live Show. London. This is James Elder for iFilm London. I'm joined by Mystic Matt, one of the leading lights of the UK garage scene. How are you, Matt? I'm fine, brother. I'm fine. Very good. Uh, caught your live set tonight. Absolutely fire. Yeah. Um, was it? Was it sound from your point of view, mate? Uh, what tonight or the scene in general at the moment? Oh, we we'll start off with tonight first, Matt. Easy, easy. Uh, so like, it could have been better. Do you know what I mean? But like the boys try. You can't knock a man for trying, can you? You know what I mean? So yeah, it was all right. And people that were there, you know, they enjoyed it. So. What's been happening with the producing side and this, Matt, and everything else? Um, the producing side at the moment, there's a lot of stuff going on, man. So, I mean, I've been sort of like a bit undercover for the last couple of years, but that's because I've been in my studio just making tunes, more tunes, more tunes, honing what I, you know, my, my craft, you know what I mean? Not saying I'm there yet, but, you know, you keep going until you get to where you want to be, don't you? Yeah. Never stop learning, bruv. I know you've been involved in the UK garage scene for a long time, kind of the roots of this kind of thing, you lot, you know? So, like, what was it like working with people like the Ant Hill Mob and other people back in the day, man? It was a good vibe back then because everything was fresh. It was like everyone was doing everything for the first time. Um, you know, no one knew where it was going. We were just doing our thing. We were just young and just, you know, embracing the music that we were making, do you know what I mean? And playing and stuff like that. And it was all new and it was it was a good vibe, you know? And that's what we want to try and bring back, you know? It's not like it's not like it was dead or anything like that. I know there's been a lot of talk about the rebirth and all that. Oh, it never died and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, in my opinion, it took a back seat for a long while and a lot of people dropped off and went to other sort of things and were producing other music and realistically I mean it's just about pushing the um, pushing the scene forward now you know what I mean um, getting the producers that you know were doing their thing and are not anymore back in it you know what I mean and, and just give it, give, giving the youngers some fresh beats some inspiration you know to follow their dreams for real. you know so for real. I hope whatever I do you know influences someone to go and do what they want to do and follow their dreams because that's what it's all about bruv do you know what i mean just doing your thing can we expect to see maybe a few more eps coming out from yourself or maybe an album what what's the plans man bruv you can see like not being funny or nothing but this year it's going to be mental bruv it's going to be messy i've got i've already got like 50 eps lined up so that's 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 no joke either 50 eps 50 you know and like each big track, units yeah that's what i'm saying like and each track has got an anthem on it and each anthem on that has got like 10 remixes on it it's stupid but you know i had to be doing something while i was sitting in my house for them last couple of years do you know what i mean like just getting it ready you know slaving away chipping away at the old block like yeah it what, should be good man what do you think of the scene and currently what's what's kind of going wrong what's tell me your opinion what? matt I don't know if anything's going wrong, bruv. It seems like it's all picking up now. Like, there's a lot of interest from some major players and, um, you know, a few compliments coming and stuff like that. Um, and, yeah, I just think it's, I think it's, I think it's kicking off right now. I think the music itself just lost its head for a while. And no one really know, knew what was going on. I mean, the Funky had his day, you know, the dubstep's doing his thing. And, well, hang on, let me rephrase that. The Funky hasn't had his day. Funky, like, had its shine. Had for its the peak. It had its peak, yeah, if you want to say that. And now, like, it's dubstep's turn, do you know what I mean? And, but I don't know, even that, there's only a certain man who can come through in it and that. Because it is very underground music, you know? It's like the old reggae back again you know um obviously with david roddick and heading the heading the thing as well like um back in it um but what we want to try and do is just bring back our scene because at the end of the day everything stemmed from our scene sort of thing we all stemmed from house didn't it do you know what i mean and the kind of kids like my generation your generation the kids that are out raving now they're ukg kids you know what i mean they've they've, they've grown up on this music so we need to give them what they're missing, if you know, if you know what I mean, you know. So, yeah. Well, Matt, I want to say thank you very much for taking the time no to talk problem. to iFilm London. No There's a few people in the scene that are not as quite as polite as yourself, and I just want to big you up for that. <laughs> Brother. Yeah. Don't worry about it. It's all love. God bless, Matt. Mystic Matt, thank you again for your time, sir. Catch you, you again I, real soon. iFilm London. Yeah. I've been Mystic Matt. These lot have been iFilm London number one. Yeah. Peace. I feel London, London, London. I feel London, London.